of Rated Tube that's going on. It's scary here, and yeah, sorry for being inactive. I've been kind of deciding what I want to do on YouTube because, like, I wasn't really sure, but I came to a conclusion, uh, well, a decision, and I want to do motion graphics again, which I did do, like, two years ago. So I'm going to show you what I've made. Um, it's not been rendered yet due to my computer being really bad at rendering and just finding the time to, you know, render it. But this is the project here, and um, basically this is going to be what you can call my first intro. Um, so just close this down. So yeah, you can call this an update as well because I have been inactive for about a month. <laughs> but uh, yeah, for those people who entered my contest, I made it July 3rd, just so I can get like, the money together because I've been having to buy some stuff and yeah, I've been saving up for a holiday as well. But basically, this is the intro I've been working on. So basically what happens is the logo flies in and uh, it's obviously got the holes on it for the screws. It hits the floor and then the camera changes. That camera is a bit distorted just now, but I'll straighten that up. The screws come flying in. And then it goes back to this point here, and uh, the screws actually screw in, and these glowing lines come flying around the logo, and uh, then they start to like flicker. And uh, yeah, basically, I'm just going to render this out and do a bit of After Effects work, you know, use some trap code particular and trap code chain and stuff, and just work my magic. But <laughs> uh, yeah, just basically design something um, unique, uh, a bit of original and stuff. And just hope I can join Frost with this because it would be a good start to um, my YouTube again. And if I do join Frost, guys, then you want to watch because I'll be active as fuck. So, um, yeah, so now on to the tutorial. Um, basically, this tutorial was requested in another video which I watched. And all it is, guys, is the effect that Edda Frost and Dea Louie does on his text, on their text even, and then um, what it is is just like paint splatters around edges and it's really simple and really basic guys um, but some people don't know how to do this so for this you're going to need paint splatter brushes and you can find them anywhere like on brush sharing sites I can link a few in the description or link the one where I got these but I think I might have got these in Del Louis pack but yeah just I'll link the site you can get them from and the link the pack maybe if I can be bothered eh? <laughs> but yeah, you want to get some text, make sure the outline of the text is strong, um, it has to be, you know, really bright. I would untick specular, um, reason being, if you're going to get white bits and stuff, and it's just going to, you know, you'd want it to be all the same colour. You can add a bit more difference in it, but I don't know if it will turn out the same. Um, as you know, Del Louis and their, um, not Del, Del Louis and Era Frost use this, like, on strong colours. So, um, yeah, basically what you're going to go on, what you're going to, tongue twister, what you're going to want to do is get a new layer and um, on this new layer, apply one of your brushes. So I've got this one here, I'm just going to put it at the corner and then use the other end of the brush to put it at this corner and use the other end to put it at this corner just to get the most use out of this brush. And then what you're going to want to do is grab this polygon selection tool and put the opacity to about 25 just so you can see your text and uh, up to where you can see where you've placed the paint splatter and just draw around that just cut it out basically from the inside and once you've done that you should be left with this and yeah just do it for the rest of the splatters Oops. And boom. Now for the last part. But like I said, this is really basic and it gives a really cool effect. I'm gonna leave a hint. I've not seen this being done on white backgrounds. I've seen paint spotters being used, but I've not be I've not seen them being used this way. So if you're looking for something original to do, then go at it, but <laughs> There's a chance that a lot of people might do it if they've seen this video, so, you know. <laughs> so yeah, that looks pretty cool up there. Now what you're going to want to do is get a another brush. You should get lots of them. Try and get lots of packs. There's, different, there's lots of, like, um, brush packs with this in it. 
uh, you know, the more the more varieties you can do on your texts. So here I'm just gonna do one. If that looks any good. Yeah, looks a bit dodgy. I'll do there, yeah. So then just whoops. Get used out of the other edges. Like so. In fact, I'm not going to use that twice, yeah. And uh, basically, just repeat the process. It's simple, easy as that. Um, what, what I'll do after this is pause the video and come back. So. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Just I'll pause the video and come back after I've done it on all the corners and I'll show you what you should have a final outcome like. <coughs> so yeah, I'm back. Uh, sorry about that, just taking a drink. But yeah, um, this is what you should have. Not the exact same because obviously you do it differently. Um, it will probably turn out differently each time, uh, depending on the brush you should download as well. But once you've done that, you can merge the two files together. And there, uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. Another cool thing you could do is press Ctrl J and go to the filter gallery. This gives it a kind of more, um, I don't know, like, oops, more noise to it, you could say, or a more in depth texture. Um, click Sparta, put the radius to 13 and the smoothness to 9. And uh, yeah, it's going to give you this effect, and that looks pretty cool. So, just set it to 19. 19? Nah, sorry, set it to the lighting. Um, and yeah, basically, there you have it. You can change the opacity to 50. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, uh, you can also change the colours, but yeah, I'll just add that in quickly because. <laughs> trying to press control and merge at the same time with one hand to right. yeah what you can do is uh, like do that one yeah you just duplicate the layer and then um, merge let me add the background first look a lot better this should be a cool effect to use in the background obviously um, just kind of it's just a kind of add-on, so it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, what's that? I don't know if I've added a drop shadow, if that's just a glow, but... Uh, whatever. Yeah, so what you can do is... When you've got your two like layers, so you can... Press Ctrl U on the keyboard. And change the colour. Of, like, you know, the text. And obviously, get a soft brush at around a hundred and hardness zero, and just like rub out parts of it like this. And obviously, you can spend a bit more time on it, but you know, just go around parts of the logo. And uh, yeah, come up with like a cool effect. Obviously, you spend a bit more time on it. I'm just doing this for tutorial preferences, but you know, you can change like colors of parts of the text. If you want to do it more precise, you could do it with the polygon selection tool and just like pen tool the outside of it or select the outside of it but yeah you can come up with a effect like that and uh, there's decorate saying alright if you don't know what alright means it means high in Scottish if you if you like English or something watching this <laughs> but yeah you can mess around with the calls and uh, yeah that's pretty much it um, if you enjoyed this tutorial or if it helped Please give that a thumbs up, and if you are new and you know you like watching tutorials, 
I'm going to do these more often, so please subscribe and stay active. Uh, keep liking, keep commenting, and also give me feedback on what tutorials you want to see. I have a Twitter, which I will leave in the description below. If you follow me there and leave um, a request, I will do it. If you, just as long as you're following me and it's reasonable, I'll do. I'll, I'll like. I'll make a tutorial on uh, the thing you're wanting to, like to know how to do. So um, yeah, that wraps it up for today's tutorial, guys. And I'll see you next time.